Alright. I forget how loud or quiet robot game needs to be. So that's a real head scratcher moment that we're going to be dealing with for a moment here. Ow. Ow? Beans. Sounds kind of okay. Oh, I mean, we're going to be needing a minute before we get into everything. But uh, I do just want to say, in the time between uh, everything, I have bought everything in the part shop again. So we have every part again. Um... And I also have fucking this boy <laughs> that exists now. Uh, which isn't very good, but is very fun to use. And uh, this one, which is basically the same deal, but different. They're Neither are very good, they're just quite fun. And kind of modified off the idea of the dual shotgun build to make this guy. Which is probably one of the visually cooler ones, but, you know. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Rah, rah. I have chippies. Do. They're delicious. I could go for... Not chips like... Like chips, but like chips like chips. Like french fries. Okay. okay. Chapter 2. Eliminate the dozer faction. <laughs> my favorite little tourist. My rebuttal. I promise to take you <laughs> Forgot about this mission? They're I mean, that's totally fair. There's probably like a good few of them. One thing though, they're using RADMTs, hot from the black market. They might be a pack of dumb animals, but at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. It's only an Whatever. NG, you know excuse me. Now get out there. <laughs> Part of me wants to try to actually sortie with this fucking nightmare machine that I've made. But I feel like it's just going to be bad. There's only one way to find out. No, I'm gonna load fucking shoot gun and do that one first. Shoot gun. Yeah, all of the all of the names for like the actual thing that they are is like simple. Like this one's just double SMGs. This one's the heavy. This one's Need for Speed, etc. Uh, and then all of the actual ones themselves are references to songs or things of similar nature that are like nerdy. So, like for instance, the one with shotguns is all black, and so it is Black Sabbath. And the tank one is also a reference to Black Sabbath, but a song. I'd name one just Kiss Kiss Fall in Love and it'd be all pink. I have a pink one, which was just Barbie Girl. And it's because it uses all heavy weapons and, like, a sword. So it's a barbarian. <laughs> I'm probably gonna make it, like, a heavier one as I get more parts and, like, slap, like, a pile bunker on it because... The pile bunker is just basically a big death fist. Or chainsaw whenever I get that. I can't believe I'm fucking playing this game and getting called a tourist, and then I talk about Warhammer shit and people call me a tourist. Hmm. Just getting insulted all over the place.
Oh, this is going like backwards. Okay. I forgot I have so little HP, but I just haul ass. <laughs> Hi, guys. This is bad. I'm sorry, send in the punchers and kickers? You heard him. Yeah, they're, they're definitely moving quick, I can tell you that much. I'm not loving it. Oh man, I gotta use those more. They have like an area of effect damage. I always forget that. Stop calling me a fucking tourist. I just got like a fucking comment by this person that just feels like somebody talking to goddamn Selen or Shura. Yeah. Just, oh, I felt like you could handle this on your own, so I called off my people. That's why you're by yourself. Jesus Christ. Okay, wow. Yeah, this is like, they're making you do fast. Tank would not have been great here. Rummy was a half-aware crackhead. That is true. Oh, that's all that mission was? Okay. It's like when you get stressed out on a test, but then it turns out that it was pretty easy. My roommate currently. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't say <coughs> that their job stuff is pretty easy. But she's like overly freaking out. The cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea. I'll give you that. I gotta like send you some fucking audio lines of this guy talking because his voice is just fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah. I play Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. Here's the end of chapter two. Let's go. You don't know how much I appreciate that you can just go back and play the chapters and, like, find the secret stuff that's hidden in them instead of just losing shit. Chapter two is short as shit. So it's, uh, the second part of Baldur's Gate. I understand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I think that part two being short for Baldur's Gate is actually really good for it. You know what I wish would come out? What? Little Kitty Big City. <laughs> I want to play Little Kitty Big City so bad. I know. I just want to be a cat. Yeah, Beans. Yeah. All right, Ocean Crossing, let's go. My chips are all gone almost. Cinder Carla is a jilf. I don't like that. Tucker, have you been looking at fan art of people who are only voices in video games? <laughs> And sometimes the, the dick wants what it wants. But after this, and sometimes it wants a grandma. 
You assume I haven't. <laughs> this elevator goes straight to the top of the grid. The outer shell. Sadly, that's beyond my territory. I mean, once you're out there, the PCA There's fan art of iron in all mines. A few of the stupider dozers took it as I mean, challenge. I'm not surprised that people are drawing their own interpretations and headcanons of what these people look like. Listen. I can't judge anyone due to the amount of Halston fan art I've been looking up. Well, all of these people don't have bodies. There's no art. <laughs> like, they're just voices. Also, like, I've seen, like, a couple of interpretations that people have done of Walter, and they always seem to do Walter as, like, a well-dressed guy. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah. Holy shit. Can't. Can't. I'm gonna die. Well, no, I'm not right now, but I will soon in a second because I don't understand the gimmick yet. Yep, I'm dead. Technically, there is art, but only rough outlines. Wow, I gotta figure out what the fuck that was all about. Because <laughs> when they're just like, hey, there's big lasers, I'm like, okay. So if I move fast enough out of it, it will, like, not hit me. No, it just, it, it's an auto hit. Okay. <laughs> or maybe you're just not good at the game. Well, no, there's two things. Those are both true. I'm sure you're fine with the game. Oh, no, I'm quite bad. The sky is lava. Evidently. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, dudes. I understand. I should take some screenshots of this place and show this to Rachel and be like, this is the inside of the walls in the D&D campaign. Hello? Hello? No, not you. Sorry. Enemies that popped up on my radar, but I hadn't seen them at first. Hello? Hello. Hello. Your puppy is being a fuckwit? Well, it is a puppy. You stop being mean to my son, Tucker. If anything, it would be like a nephew, right? No. Are all animals just your children? <laughs> yeah. Sucker, I'll kick your ass. Comms record, dozer chatter, wanna hear something wild, turns out the big shots at the PCA who run the satellites take orders from an AI. They're working for a computer man. Guess you're you right, up then again. Do whatever he wants. <laughs> we're not too different, huh? Okay. Literally whatever that little boy wants, you give him. That's how you spoil a dog. Yes. <laughs> decided to piss on the rug. That's fine. No, it isn't. He's a baby. You tell him that he's a bad boy. Put him in timeout, and then he'll learn. Oh, fuck, fuck me. He's just a baby. He's gonna have parties. Ooh, we did it. Bean sometimes pisses outside of her litter box. Not anymore since I got her a bigger one. But... There we go. Aw, oh, fuck you, buddy. Fuck you, bud. Take off, eh? Quite literally, in this case, actually. Oh, come on. We're doing it. 
Oh, okay. Risky, but it worked. Oh my god, we're doing it. Next chapter, we can start PvPing. Cool. <laughs> oh boy. I'm sorry? Does that even sound fun? I like PvP. This game, it's like optional. I mean, it's optional in all of them, but... You know. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, what the fuck just shot me? From where did I get knocked around like that? Christ. That's what I like to say. Let's get the cargo launcher ready. I'm guessing the supply thing is there so you can get your HP back more than your ammo. Now, if you can just step inside. Wait, are we gonna get shot out of a big gun? Ow, really, fucker? I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Wow, it has a lot of HP. I hate that. It's Sir, can you please get out of the fucking corners? No, it doesn't deserve it. It's stopping me from going where I need to go. Why are you taking any stagger damage? Fuck off. Yeah, of course it's taking off. It's a robot. It can fly. Yeah, Tucker, I see my son, and if you keep yelling at him, I'm going to fly to wherever you live. I'm going to kick your ass. Tucker sent me a picture of I'd imagine. You're going to hear a loud noise, and I apologize. Smash it up, tourist. <laughs> I was naughty, and I bought a soda. That's fine. I don't think anybody would follow you. You know what I'm realizing? That makes me really sad. Oh god, yeah, what? You know how, like, for the past month I was, like, really liking root beer? Yeah. I don't uh, like it anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think maybe you just overdid it, honestly. No. I don't know what it was. That's the cleanest first attempt of the sea spider I've ever seen. I was. Like, it was just. I was fast. I think that's the real reason. I, I still got my ass not... kicked. It's not mug root beer, and mug root beer is usually my preferred one. But thank you. Shoot the core, use the boost to get through. Actually valid information in this game, though. I was gonna ask, um, so like, wait, what's your preferred root beer list? Give me your tiers. Because I'm gonna be honest, I, I've only got two. <laughs> Nerfed Sea Spider anyway? True. I don't know what's been nerfed and what hasn't been. I don't really care. <laughs> By the way, tourist. You're Walter's hound, right? 
I don't understand. You understand what? I guess a dog can't choose its master. But still, I don't understand. Who's messaging? Oh, really oh, do. That I thing was annoying before, though not hard. Okay. Sorry. I don't understand why men think oh, like one more thing. a queef is weird. Like, Most men don't at all. It's just kind of funny. No one's ever used it to launch themselves before. At least not in one piece. <laughs> I'm getting what shot out of a big gun. Of guys being like, it's gross. Yeah, but you gotta realize, like, some men don't mature. Yeah, Miss even Misty's, like, kind of funny, but gross, but Misty doesn't like vaginas. Like, it's like if you have something inside of it and then you move after the thing is no longer inside of it, like... It's just, it is what it is. It's it's not... It's gonna it, make noise. It's not really gross on its own. It's just kind of goofy. Yeah. Like, it's gross if you don't like that thing, but if you do, it's like, I don't know, I'll just grow up, I guess. Raven? Raven? Simone? You know, she can see the future. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> 36D will be here Friday? Nice. Walter was correct in his judgment. Are we in snow area again? The coral. It's here. It well, probably ash, but, you know. I don't know who this woman is cosplaying. Oh, but Rachel, you never answered my question. What? What is your root beer list? Like, top. Mug. Mug, Mug is the top? Yeah. I, it might just be because Canada, but A&W. Well, that's the one I'm drinking right now, and I'm not a fan. Really? Yeah. Mug is like number two, though. It's either A and W or it's Mug. Tucker, I'm sending you a milf. <laughs> Why? It it popped up on a cosplay thing that I'm All that right. I follow. And they're like an older woman. She's an older woman, and she's kind of fat, and she's like not fat, but she's like curvy as hell. I don't know who she's cosplaying, but like. Alright. <laughs> it's hot. Looks like you've made it to the central ice field, 621. Good. I'm done tying up loose ends. Archibus found their own way in and are ready to deploy survey squads. And it looks like Balaam's come running after you scoped out the place, too. You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. But... I don't know who it is. I don't know who she's cosplaying. Send me it, I might know. But it's a waistline that I approve of. <laughs> yeah, you guys heard it here. I'm D rank. It is now time for me to stalk this woman's page. <laughs> Ma'am, who else do you cosplay? I don't know. Of course you cosplay. That's... That's too generic, but it looks like a Star Wars. Yeah. Are they could be Mara Jade? I don't know. She just has a waistline. I can't stop staring at. Their waistline is crazy, mostly because of how much like fat is on their pelvic area. Yeah. That's... Oh, it's she's a hundred percent core setting it up. Yeah. Right. But it's hot. <laughs> it's not real. And I, I, it's hot. I appreciate. I, I like that. Like Tucker is just like actually, yeah, that could be. It's like it could be Mara Jade, because Mara Jade it's... is like a redheaded Star Wars lady that ends up shacking up with Luke. It's, it's, it's attractive. 
I love it when you take a plump woman and you force her into something small. Jesus. <laughs> what? Just funny. Uh, I looked it up and yeah, it is. Wait, was it actually Mara Jade? It's funny. Did I get it? <laughs> the joke of me just always being able to guess it is correct. Fantastic. Oh my god. Wow, we got so many new items. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I really love the gun being called the therapist. Sweet 16s, are they good? Because I heard Zimmerman's were good. Marjade does indeed have a purple lightsaber. Yeah. Marjade rules. The whole old canon of, like, Luke and the other kids and stuff like that was fucking radical. A stun baton? They're point blank. Hmm. Okay. Hit and miss. I, li I don't like that these are all burst machine guns. I want some more SMGs. Like, proper SMGs. Oh. She does rule, that's why fuck Disney Star Wars. Yeah, that's the worst part about the Disney Star Wars, was getting rid of her and Darth Cadus or whatever his name was. Fucking, fucking other, like, not Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren does rule, though. Kylo's awesome, but, like, the original version of him, the original Ben, was way better. Like, showing up to your fucking... Like, aunt's funeral in full Sith regalia is badass and stupid at the same time, and I loved it. I have a horrible habit of when a woman is cosplaying. Oh, like, that looks so wearing, cool. And is wearing, like, a leotard, I just, like, I am no better than a man. Well, yeah, because you're not. You're attracted to them. <laughs> I will That's... say, and oh, I these are such I... fucking Gundam arms! Oh my god! I I know I shouldn't be saying this because it's a horrible, horrible, horrible thing for me to say. Best me the arms. However, okay. however, if I see a white person cosplaying Garnet, I'm immediately like, get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh... Gar, I I'm totally fine with any person cosplaying any character. But the moment I see a white garnet, I'm like, eat shit, it's get a out. Bit, it's a bit weird, but also, like, the real answer is to just go with Sapphire. <laughs> yeah, I cosplayed Sapphire, and then my one hey, black wait. friend cosplayed, uh, Ruby. If, so if Ruby is, like, black, and Sapphire's yeah. white, is garnet mixed? Garnet mixed, yes. <laughs> because her skin tone's significantly lighter than Well, Ruby's. she also becomes purple at one point. What the fuck? Look at this Land Raider Proteus ass legs. Look at that. That is just the Land. Uh, fucking Land Raider Spartan, whatever fucking thing. The Proteus, uh, the, the Warhams. That is, those are so goofy. I love them. You'll want them big time? Oh my god. These legs fucking rule. <laughs> These are just so Gundam. I need them for the sake of them being Gundam. They'll be fast as fuck. <laughs> I'll get them, sure. Oh man, now's when we're getting the cool looking gear, huh? Alright. I'm gonna need to start making cash. The nest is the online battle area. I understand. Time to farm? Oh, I'll I'll do it. 100%. Are you kidding? Woo, hua hai. Okay. Uh, gun of... Gun 3 of the Red Guns, the Balam's Group AC Squad. Okay, so it's like the fucking... What are they called? The... The dudes in, uh... Fucking Gundam. It's also like one of those things where like Amethyst <laughs> is always just fat in my opinion. I yeah, Amethyst is not a skinny person. I, I wouldn't say Amethyst is like obese. No, she's not my size, but like I imagine her being like They're chonk. chubby. They're chonk. 
blast as get They're cash. a dwarf. Yeah, no, like, unironically, Amethyst is kind of, not like a person with dwarfism, but like a person who is like a dwarf. Like a Final Fantasy, like, D&D &D dwarf. Yeah. They're like, well, like, legally in the US, they'd be a dwarf, because like, in my mind, Amethyst is like four foot ten. His illicit feng shui pharmacy operation? What the fuck? Alright, I need chips. Give me my chips. Lolly Ho? I'm not there yet, Pasta. <laughs> I know about Lolly Ho, but... <laughs> I'm not there yet. <laughs> it was between this and Final Fantasy tonight, honestly, because I just didn't feel like my brain could handle the processing power for Alan Wake. Which is, like, maybe offensive to this game, but Alan Wake is so much bullshit all at once. Wow, fuck that. Oh my god, it's a month until Christmas. True. Literally. I'm so excited. Dude, this guy's kicking my ass, actually. This is just further proof of Noid needs a sword on, like, everything. God, do people sleep in the boost you in the restaurant? Yeah, of course. There's, like, one account that I know that's still just exclusively making lewd Steven Universe art. Oh, that's a sick Carlock drawing! Fuck off, I just saw the title and now I'm Mega Man Triggered. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Give me a new one, Nintendo. <laughs> yes, Melee Rules, new Custom Robo went. Oh, you saw Custom Robo was the, the joke of the title, okay. Yeah, no, uh, custo Custom Robo is a weird game that I rented one time and lives in my brain forever now. They'll never make another one. Ring Freddy Candle Ring? A warrior of Rubicon Liberation Front, paramour and personal attendant to Dolman. Freddy maintains an aloof distance from his fellow comrades, the admirer of the inner world of Dolman's mind. He entered the battlefield so that his father or so that the father of the Liberation Front would never need to be alone. Weird. But fine. Same, actually. I played a lot of Custom Robo Arena for the DS. Mine was just the GameCube one, yeah. I rented it and beat it in a weekend because I was invested. I wasn't even invested. I was just, like... I like building thing. I like making Robo. So, you know. What is your opinion on the digital circus thing? About what thing? The, the what is it? The amazing digital circus? Yeah, but like, what about it? What's your opinion on it? Oh, it's fine. It's okay. I didn't mean to get so snappy. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I just didn't know if you meant like the actual show or like the current controversy surrounding it. I don't know the controversy. No, the controversy is the dumbest shit of all time. It was a person doing, like, meme art, uh, Gooseworks, like, the creator, did some, like, stupid, like, pseudo-fetish meme art, uh, of, like, robot characters getting a drill into the side of the head and then looking like they're, like, orgasmic, and people are like, oh, well, how do you respond to the drilling fetish accusations? Then they're like, lol, that's so stupid. And now everybody's, like, being fucking weirdos about it online. Oh, I did it! With one HP, let's go! Shield is the best shit, dude, just cheat. Yeah, the controversy's dumb. It's the dumbest thing. Oh, oh my god, an adult making shitty shit post fetish art? Like, who cares, man? That show isn't fucking for children anyway. <laughs> I 
Man, if I wasn't fucking fat and disgusting, that's a sick tattoo. But Missy, like, it's not art that you would look at and be like, this is fetish art. It's like shitpost fetish art. Like, it's a joke. It's shit. Post. It is, because it's a bunch of robots getting a drill of the side of the head, but then looking like, ugh. Really reinforcing that I made the right choice to only look at co-hosts from now on. It's not even on Twitter. It's like fucking Reddit and uh, 4chan are in on this as well. Because of course they are. Twitter just happens to be where all the people from fucking 4chan go for some reason. 4chan is a hellscape. I know. I used to go on it regularly. <laughs> I'm aware. I've been there. It used to be significantly less fascist. Why did my oh my god you look cool content shit change show me nudity <laughs> damn it dude that's like the, the sickest emblem oh my god Vitruvian man but becoming a mecha robot dude that fucking rules Oh god, ow. Yeah, right, they have a sword. I don't. Oh god, I fucking love Helsin so much. Anytime I see just anything of him ever, it makes me just so happy. And I'll fight everyone. You asshole. How dare you? Honestly, my my love for Halston right now is Oh superior. fuck. Oh fuck. Sorry. My love it's my love of Asturian. Which is saying something. Well, so do yeah, do me a favor and die for me. Okay. I fucking did it. 1 HP. Let's go. <laughs> that was maybe the most, like, fucking Destroy. mecha pilot antagonist moment I've ever had. Okay. Just do me a favor and die for me. He just came out. <laughs> anyway, you're saying about being obsessed with Halston over Asterion currently? That's it. Okay. And then you turn into a fucking edgelord, so I let you have your moment. <laughs> I'm not even using the upgraded shotguns. God, the things I would do to that man. <laughs> the things that I would feed that bear. I really like the, the head cannon that he's buff during summer, but the other times he's getting fat. <laughs> like, I, I love that idea so much that he's just chunky in the winter. What a weird way to quantify the damage on this. 61 times 13. <laughs> Also, I love fucking pasta just being like, holy shit. Hmm. I'm assuming in regards to the fight. Mm -hmm. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay up, but I want to do my best. That's fair. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I'm so sleepy. For heavyweight machines, you say? I know why I was sleepy, because work was slow as fuck today. Why does that make you, like, sleepy? I don't know, but if it's a slow day at work when I come home, I'm tired. I also had a big dinner, which I think is also making me sleepy. I can see that. Okay, we're gonna change out from these shotguns to the ones that I was being told are good. And uh, if we die, then it means that you're bad. It wasn't I me. Mean, a tomato soup with a grilled cheese and then I I cooked up some turkey for beans. 
Excellent. Arena combat aptitude evaluation. Just of course. She's oh, she's SMG, you asshole. She's a good being's a little angel and she deserves food. I mean, you do have to feed them, this is true. She deserves good food. Oh my god. You stop fucking pinging me? Two seconds? Oh, I don't like these reload times, that's for sure. I really want to get Asterion's back thing tattooed on me somewhere. Like, it's a sin. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking owned all of a sudden. Alright, those guns are cool, but like, I'm not sure if I like their firing speed. Oh. The other shotguns are just like, a little bit faster. But like, they, these things do, do work. That is true. They hit like a truck, but slow reload. Yeah. Vocaloid, again. <laughs> You're in the ecosystem. It fucking, it just keeps showing me Vocaloid. I'm not mad, but like, why? <laughs> I wonder if it's because I was listening to Persona. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Oh my god. Do you have Persona on, on Steam? Persona's on Steam now, yeah. Uh, I think like all the Personas are on Steam. Well, the three Personas that people consider Persona. Yeah, Persona 5 is the one I'm thinking of. I like Persona 5. I had it for PlayStation though. Oh my god. Fucking Christ. Jesus. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure I like these guns that much. That reload time is, is really hurting me. Unless I, like, pair it with melee, I think I'm fucked. Not on this guy, but, like, in, like, real combat. But, like, this guy too, probably. Yep, there we go. Try again with it. I think that using them to stun lock somebody and then beat their ass in is probably the right decision. Ooh. Fucking god. Oh my god, he's just getting me. Yeah, this one, this one's a wipe and a half. Holy shit. I feel like these shotguns on like a heavier unit would be good, but I need something faster for this. There we go. Not a wipe, it turns out, but needed our shield to pop. In the real game, the shield pop can be mitigated on the... the fact that we do have heals. So, like, we can... we can get to the point of death, have the shield, and then use that to deal some extra damage, but, like, fuck, man. Fifteen chips, though. I don't know what I'm gonna spend them on. Kick 
shoot twice, shoulder, shoulder, repeat. I mean, yeah. You have surpassed rank D. We hope that our aid has helped push you to achieve greater things. All mind exists for all But everybody plays different, you know. My shoulders aren't necessarily always going to be fast ones because I like them uh like them to do like a bit of damage when I'm when I'm knocking people out. Booster specialized for high mobility, developed by Schneider, commissioned for Archibus. Well balanced offers stable performance. Okay. I just wanted more SMGs. Why is this like a problem? Don't have access to favorite shoulders, also fair. Speaking of Atlas, what's your favorite Atlas game that isn't Persona or SMT related? That's tough. Because Atlas is like a, a weird company. Yeah, it does have less rounds, but that is a lot better. For now. We'll play around with it for now. Steal survey data? Sure. I used to play some weird Atlas shit, that's for sure. Well, like, that's pretty much the only games that they really focus on that, so. The operation will take place in the central ice fields, Yalmar Mine. We want you to stage an attack on the Ark of the Survey Camp located there. After digging into the ice field, Archibus launched survey drones to gather data. Whatever they found is sure to contain clues as to the whereabouts of the Coral Convergence. Put simply, your job is to seize the data. We're counting on you, Gun 13. The Zimmerman is good, now fair instead of... Or... Is now fair instead of stupid broke fair. Tried Etrian Odyssey, not my jam. Yeah, I don't understand Etrian Odyssey, really. What's up? I'm just a bitch. <laughs> Why? So, someone... Oh, okay. Someone was, uh... I, I'm trying, because I kicked the one person out of my D&D &D party. Oh. Yeah, they were just getting really sassy, and I'm like... I'm like... I told them, like... If you want a dating simulator, you have to find someone else to entertain the thought. Yeah, you're not because, there to do video games. Because like, this the... isn't what this fucking campaign is about. Yeah. And so she got mad, and I was like, okay, then you can fucking leave, and she left. So, I'm trying to find somebody else, and I put up a thing. Okay, hello, hi, sorry. And someone was like, the setting is really cool, oh. but heavy roleplay, that's a snooze. And I was like, well, lucky for you, I wouldn't fucking pick you then. Heavy roleplay? In my D&D? &D? What are you here for, combat? Baldur's Gate's over there, you can skip the cutscenes. 
Like, Jesus, fuck, dude. I'm, maybe I'm the weird one here, but, like, I don't understand oh, the people fuck. that are only in for combat. It's a role-playing game. Yep. That's why it's, like... Because I always tell people it's 70% roleplay, 30% combat, but that roleplay includes roles. Yeah, like, it doesn't have to be you doing little acting things. It, it's just, like, roleplay in a video game is, like, fucking... You're playing a, a role-playing video like, game when you're playing fucking, what do you call it? Like, uh, we were talking about Persona before. It's like, that's a role-playing game. Excuse me, it's like, you're gonna have to roll if you want to try to persuade someone. Play 4th sometimes, edition if you're into combat? True. Sometimes if you're... So, like, if you're like, okay, well, we need to get from point A to point B, I'm like, alright, as you guys are walking from point A to point B, someone roll me a d20. Depending on what they roll, I have a list that I, like, shuffle through every day, every session. And if they land on something, I'm like, cool, on your way, it's either, like, if they roll um, 15 or above, nothing happens, it's a sweet ride. 14 or below, something happens. And obviously the closer to one is, like, the shittier the thing, the hack, and, like, the thing that could happen is. It's like... You might have to do a little combat, but there's, I also do like a lot of timed things. Like, you guys are here, you need to get to there in like two minutes, or like a minute, so ten rounds. You have ten rounds to get from point A to point B, but there's something keeping you from getting- When slash where does this campaign happen? So this campaign is happening in a homebrew world that I created for Rachel about ten years ago. Uh, set in the current timeline of it, which is a sci-fi fantasy setting, it's where it's homebrew. Let yeah. me, it's a homebrew campaign. Yeah, where where Thank predominantly right now they're they're going into the main city, which is like a mega city built around a mountain. So, genre-wise, think Final Fantasy VII. It's like there was like an actual term because like I know you say it's sci-fi fantasy, but there's an actual science fantasy is also a term. There, there's, I know, but there's, like, an actual, like, for the aesthetic and everything included, there was an actual term for it that one of my players brought up, and I just was like, I want to Google it, I'm like, yeah, that's pretty close. But then I forgot what it was, but... It's like, oh, cool, you fight with a sword and a shield? Well, the motherfucker next to you has a gun for an arm, so... It's really cool, and a lot of people like that it's not your typical medieval fantasy, but the problem is... People in biotech, sci-fi, someone. People in D and D are fucking dumb. Like, fuck, god damn it. Like, as I'm, I'm, I'm trying doing to something to, I should not do. I, as I'm trying to talk to people, they're just like, "Why don't you do rolled?" I'm like, "Because rolls are dumb. I hate rolling for stats. I think it's stupid. I like point five. Yeah, pick your shit. It. <laughs> there's a reason that two systems work. And they're like, oh, we're starting at level three, why not higher? I'm like, because it's the... <laughs> why not just be demigods? Like... Like, uh, what? Um, people, I've, like, tried telling them about the extra rate, like, the new races that I've made, and they're just like, okay, well, that sounds cool and everything, but, like, why? I'm like, because they're, they're like... What's the difference between, like, a cyborg and a warforged? I'm like, well, a warforged is made, and a cyborg is a person that was turned into a robot because they either got fucked up somehow, or they just it's, decided... That's literally, like, the dumbest of them, too, like, because it's like, you know what a cyborg is, motherfucker. Yeah. And I had to explain to a motherfucker, like, well, warforged is made, and, like, by an art typically by an artificer, or, um, by a... They're automatons. They're just automatons that are smart. Well, they're automatons that were able to. They're, um, they're be able to be achieve, people. Yeah. And they have sentience. It's like cyborgs are. Take a dwarf. Okay, that dwarf loses an arm. Well, he replaces it with a robotic arm. He loses another arm. That robotic arm gets replaced. Androids in Dragon Ball are actually cyborgs, yes. He loses his legs. Okay, those get replaced. It's like, because um, in my thing, it's like I have a mandatory that 90% 90, 90 of your body has to re be replaced with cybernetics. Yeah, because otherwise, it needs to be the critical functioning bits. Yeah. And so, like, 
Like, yeah, in the looser terms, you're a cyborg if you've just got, like, your arm. But, like, you're not classified as one because it's just, it's a prosthesis. Yeah. You don't have, like, a, like, cyborg from DC. Yeah, cyborg or, like, think Raiden from Metal Gear. And they also don't understand. And I keep telling, and I, I know it's because this is a lot of people's first time doing a D&D &D session, like a campaign, in this sort of setting. But, like, when you say, like, futuristic tech, what do you mean? I'm like, cars can fly. Yeah. That... That's what we're dealing with here, people. Cars can fly. There are giant shuttles and airships the size of, like, cruise ships. Rudimentary mecha exists. They're just kind of coasting. There's mecha. Like, Isn't Ryan from Metal Gear, like, basically ahead in a jar at this point? Yeah, he's he's basically ahead in a jar. Yeah, but that's the 90% thing, you know? Yeah. I don't know why I thought that I could fly into that thing's blades and be cool. I, I don't Shit. Know. It's so oh, hard. Oh fuck finding. off another one. It's so hard finding players. It's why it may, like sometimes I just don't want to do D&D &D anymore because it's impossible to find players. But part of this is cuz you're getting randos. You're not like you're not getting people that you know. A big part of D&D Because is the people that I know turned out to be That's shit. That's not the point. My point remains. It's and also the people that you know were still randos. They were guys that you met on the internet through trying to do D&D. And I'm not saying that you can't form a good meaningful connection with people from that. Obviously you can. Okay, you but I also really don't want to play D&D with the people that I know in real life because Rachel a lot of does it like every life. every other week. It's every other week. A lot of the people that I know in real life would like it's like they'd annoy the fuck like doing it with I, my roommate. It would I make fully me understand that. I'm just saying that like you run the a higher odds risk of them being shit if you don't know the yeah. people. I don't. I know that, but I'm still allowed to complain about it because like I again I wish I could take myself. Clone myself six times, give myself like a like spicier brains, and go. There we go. Campaign. Yeah, I, I, well, here's the thing. I know you don't want that though, because you don't want six people doing exactly the same thing as you. You want the unpredictable. And why I said spicier brains. Spicier so brain doesn't mean that though. So they're different. That's what it means when I said spicier brain. All right. It's just. What day? It's a, I mean, like, it's changed over periods of time. It's every other Friday. It was gonna be this Friday, but people have to work on Friday. Then it was gonna be Sunday to make up for it, and then one of the dude's grandpas is dying, and so we're skipping it to the next Friday, so we're we'll back on schedule. Or the Friday after next Friday. I'd have to, it's like December something. I think 8th is our next fucking session. It's just obnoxious. Oh god, fucking crazy. What the fuck? Oh, I'm gonna fall and die. God damn it. Okay, can this not happen? Also, like, the group that I worked- that I was with last time, it's like, we were- Sure, like, we were strangers at first, but that's how all friends are. They're strangers. And then I was friends with them for, what, four years? And then they were like, you guys make me want to bash my head in. Got it. Cool. I don't think it was four years. I think that's a stretch, but also... No, because we were do I was doing it... Oh, it was after COVID, so it, was, it yeah. was about two and a half, three years. Because I started playing in 2000... It was late 2020 that I started playing. Yeah, but you played with a few groups. I played with the one. It was the one, and then we finished the campaign, the DM didn't want to play anymore, and then that's when I became the DM. Oh my god, can you fucking die? And then I took that long break because the group started to turn fucking toxic. And then when I went back, I'm like, oh, okay, it's not me, it is you guys. I became friends with Rachel because of lewd Jasper art. Fair. In fact. How long would it take to make a character? I don't know. That's up to the people. 
it's up to the people and it's also because like so here's the thing right it, it, making a D, D character isn't just you make a character and then you're done you have to go this is my character id ideal like idea how does this fit into your world it doesn't how can i change it and alter it a bit so it's still my like overall how can you make the baby fit yeah it's like it's, it's like how can i change it so it's still my my baby but like it fits with the story a bit more like one person really wanted to be a githyanki i'm like githyanki don't fucking exist in this world my dude sorry yeah it's like it's the, the it should be stressed that like a lot of your typical fantasy races exist in the world but like the D, &D ones for the most part that are exclusive to like forgotten realms or this or that have been pretty much trimmed out because i created other ones instead yeah, it's like gift yonki. Sorry, my guy. No, I don't. You, we don't got those here. Um, there's a couple other space ones. Shoot or the like, bridge. No, listen. I know. I'm killing the stuff that's attacking me. And then they're like, "Well, there's a specific race that one of them wanted to play, and or not race class." And I'm like, I'm "Like, I am totally fine with you playing this class." I'm like, "But this, because there's the Cobalt Soul monk." I'm like, "The Cobalt Soul doesn't exist in this realm, like in this campaign." So. You can be this monk, you can use their stats whenever. Just flavor lore -wise, something else. Like, lore-wise, we gotta think of something else. And they were completely fucking fine with that, but now I have to sit there and I have to think. And there was one guy... <laughs> I was like, hey, listen, you need to be... I'm like, do you want to make an alliance with me? And they were like, yeah, cool, I'll make an alliance. What do I need to do? I'm like, you need to play this right. You need to play this class. That's it. You just need to play this class and you don't know who the fuck your dad is. They're like, oh, sweet. Well, can I play this class instead? I'm like, if you play that class, you can't make an alliance with me. I need you to play this specific class. And they're like, all right, that's fine. Yeah, sure. I'm like, cool. Because it should be stressed. This person didn't know what to do. Yeah. Like, they, they, they needed help. <laughs> Which is fine. But, like, you know, if I'm like, I'm, I, you want to help you, like, do because sometimes the DMs do ask that of players. Like, do you want to make my life easy? Do this. I'm not gonna tell you oh my why. God. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you like nothing. Like when I asked Triton last the last campaign, I was like, make a deal with make a deal with your God if you're really thinking about it. Do it because it'll make it'll make the fucking campaign easy. And he's like, well, I don't want people to do that. I'm like, just fucking do it if you're gonna do it. If your character, I'm like, your character doesn't know these characters. Fuck them. And, uh, oh, they hate Milestone. Can I they be a mile... ranger that shoots tech arrows? Like Probably. Theoretically. But that would be, like, you'd have, like, only, like, a handful of quote-unquote special arrows, because if not, then you're a little overpowered. Unless it's just flavor. I think, yeah, I mean, if it's flavor, sure. But if you want those special tech arrows to do something, it's like you're only going to have a couple of them. And when you run out, you have to go buy more. Um, but a lot of the people that I'm trying to interview are like, oh, it's Milestone? Why is it Milestone? Because I like and it. Shut up. I'm like, because if it's experience, you guys are going to go and be murder hobos. Oh, that's the other thing. So they, the That's what I do in Baldur's Gate when I play solo. <laughs> the group that I was being mean because I was like, I'm going to allow you guys to roll your real dice. I'm like, however, if I get a hint, if I get like the inkling that you were cheating because you were rolling super, every single roll you're rolling is super fucking high. Like, if I get an inkling that you were cheating, I will just tell you, are you cheating right now? Are you honest and serious about your roles? And if your roles continue to be really, really high, I will just kick you. I'm not going to go to the digital shit. That takes the fun away from everyone else. I will just say, a black hole opens on the floor, and this character gets sucked into the ether. Moving on. And they're like, well, I think that's a bit mean because what if they're just rolling really high? I'm like, they're, I'm like, it is so, it is such a small percentage that you would roll forward like night, like night teams in a row. <laughs> it is so small. If you rolled like a 19 and then a 12 and then like another 18 and then a three, I'd be like, okay, that's, 
those are pretty good rolls, and then you had a shit one, I'm not gonna be thinking anything bad. Right? Because, like, here's the thing. I go through and it, it's not just someone goes, I want to play, and I'm like, cool, come on in. It's an interview process. There's one dude I've been talking to for six hours. Yeah, no, I think that an interview is the right way to handle. I'm like, I'm like, what's a character that you really like that you've played? What's your favorite D&D &D moment during a campaign that, like, was roleplay or combat? What are you looking for in DM? How would you handle you have beef with another player? Not your characters have beef. Yeah, you like, specifically, the, the player, have a the problem. Thing. I say all the time, I'm like, I don't care oh, if your characters... Sick. I don't care if your characters don't respect each other. I don't give a shit. But you as players need to respect each other. Because the moment you don't respect each other, and then I pick up that you're not respecting each other, I'll just kick the both of you if you start being dumb. I'll find other players. It'll suck. But I'll find other players. I'm not gonna have another fucking Angie. I'm not. Like, I, I can't do it. God, Angie made me want to rip my literal brains out. And then I've tried being a player. But I don't know if it's OCD or what. But I'm like, other DMs are just so bad. <laughs> I, I am such a good DM. I'm not Matt Mercer. I'm not Brennan Lee Mulligan. I'm not, you know, whatever the fuck the other girl's name is. Abrea. I'm not on their levels. One, because I'm fucking stupid. And my English the my English dictionary vocabulary is very, very small. Right? I don't have a big vocabulary. Because I grew up in the Hicks. <laughs> and, my, and my schooling was poor. Okay? There are times I ask my roommate, did I use that word correctly? And she goes, yes. I'm like, perfect. Like, I'm big dumb. But like <laughs> Rachel, I am considering applying. <laughs> you said that, Misty? Yeah. <laughs> but like there are times when it's like 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 I don't know. I just like you don't have to be a voice actor, but you can like change the tonality and the, the the accent or whatever of the character that they're speaking with so it sounds different. You can like like how, like when all the characters were describing what their character looked like when they came on and I had each of them had their own fucking theme song. <laughs> like that's cool. At least I think it is and they thought it was. Like And then, like, I can get a theme song. Yeah. Yeah. And then, like, I was telling Pasta about this, but there was a point where I was like, "Here's a bunch of different music," and one of the things that Rachel used was fucking Eureka Seven music. Uh huh. And then, like, I um. I have a mouthful of cookie, I'm sorry. Like, I'll let you pick. I'll give you two options, where I'm like, you can roll athletics or acrobatics. Whatever one's higher, that's the one you can use to make this roll. But you gotta tell me why you're picking the one that you're picking, and describe to me what you're doing. You know? Like, you can't be like, can I roll a charisma save to charisma the boulder? It's like, that's not gonna work. You have to roll strength. I'm very sorry. I want a cheesy as hell song now. I mean, but to like, my to my knowledge, her group of people because like actually this I need to say this just because it's funny. If Misty ever joined this group, almost every single member would be gay. There would be five gay men and one straight <laughs> guy. They they have made an Elton John song their theme song. Yeah, I'm still standing as their theme song. This so whenever, very whenever the group does something stupid, I just start playing. I'm still standing, and I'm just like I just stare at the camera. So they know that when they hear Elton John, they've done something bad. <laughs> this is my way of shaming you politely. Mm -hmm. you, the old group it used to be Black Betty. 
which is just oof, to me. Yeah. <laughs> they hear Black Betty playing and they're like, oh no, what'd we do? And I'm like, I don't know, what'd you do? <laughs> Congrats, you've got the fucking stupid theme song kicking in. <laughs> Oh god. Well, I mean, like, okay, now is when we start having to pick different things to go do, huh? When when Fen was like, you know what I'm gonna do? This is the old campaign. When Fen was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna kill the priest. I just went Black Betty. <laughs> so I have two questions before I continue on. Um, mm -hmm. One, does me picking any of these things lock me out of the other ones like in old ACs? Because that. That'll make me an awkward. Not at the moment. Okay. Good. Uh, second thing. Should I be changing yes. out AC parts? Yes. Or, like, can I just keep rocking with the thing I've got right now? Change them out. I'm saying, not asking a question of should I, I'm asking can I. <laughs> You'll be yes. explicitly told if it's a choice. Okay. You can. I lost an entire box of cookies. It's like, like, should it, like, is it a good idea to change gear to a higher one? Or is a gear, like, good the whole game, and it's just, you just switch between parts when you need to? I have misplaced an entire box of cookies. It is lost somewhere in the piles. That is my bed. Because, like, right now I'm just going to rock this, and this seems to be doing fine for the body. Usually what you're comfortable with using is fine. Cool. Gear side grade. Cool. I don't know, man. I'll it's make a earth. I'll make a fucking like Gundam at some point. I mean, you're allowed to be irked. There's one person that I'm interviewing. He seems like a great fit, but there's one problem. Yeah. And it's gonna make me sound like an ass. English isn't his first language. No. And so far, he's very, very good. A lot of. At Non first language English speakers try really, really hard though. He's really, really good. But sometimes I'll say, like, I'll type a word and he'll just be like, Can you verify what that means? And I have to tell him what the word means. And he goes, I understand. Okay, and that's while fair. I, while I don't mind doing it, and, and thankfully, he's his, his main, his, it's Spanish, and I know some Spanish, so I can, like, kind of help. But, like, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know if the group would be okay with having to, like, pause now and then and explain what a word means. I would just run it by them. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Also, you could totally just make that a thing in character. That's like, kind of what I was this like. This guy does not fully understand common. Common. <laughs> I mean, because, well, I, I made the joke because you said if he did play, he'd want to be a tribal orc. And I'm like, yeah, I would want your Spanish to just be tribal orc. And he was like, I could do that. Um, pick pick the... Uh, is he Spanish, like, from Spain, or is he Spanish, like, from Latin America? Uh, He's, like, for off the boat Mexico. Okay, I would look at that guy and be like, hey, if you don't think that it's racially offensive, pick, like, your local indigenous tribe of choice and theme them after that. We'll see. Because we'll, we're still if he wants to go with the tribal orc, like, sure. He has, he has to tell me a time, because I like, I, I do like the, it's like a text interview, and then we get on a Discord yeah, yeah, call. Yeah. Like, it is a process of I'll, me finding a group. Also, just because Tucker will understand what it means, and also, like, probably think it's cool, um, so Tucker, for context, the big city that they're going to is essentially, like, a hive city. But mm -hmm. imagine, like, two-thirds of it aren't shit. <laughs> and then, like, one section of it's just trash. So, how I described it to my players is think of a three-tiered cake. Where the lower part of the tier is the lower city, and that's where all the trash is. And it's like neon lights and, and, and lots of crime. And didn't we? Didn't you tell me it's like Tokyo sized? Yeah, it's it's it spreads out pretty far. It's like the population would be like the population density of like New York or Tokyo ish area for Tokyo's the whole for the whole city. Yeah, I know, but it's like it's bigger by a couple million. 
but like Tokyo is also more spread out than New York. That's fair. So it's like this is spread out, but it also goes up. You know, like it's 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 built out a long distance from where the original mountain that they built around was, but it's also really tall. Yeah. To the point where the the uh, the temperature in the upper city is noticeably several degrees lower at all times because it's just higher in the atmosphere. Mm hmm. And then the castle's just a giant pyramid. Yeah. But, like, contextually, what? like, the, the upper city for you guys that are, you know, actually showing any interest in it at all, the upper city is, like, fancy spires and also just old-school-style buildings. Like, and you know when you find, like, your your out anachronistic D&D &D setting area where everybody has the absurd fancy manor houses? That's the upper city, but it's also just gleaming cityscape up there. It's where all the rich noble assholes live. Those tanks are 10k each? Oh shit. One of the people is really upset that they didn't... So, I have like... Like a four-page like Google Doc that I send them to explain briefly what the world is. Blah, blah, blah all of the options that they have, and they just are now realizing that they could have played, like, a weird Japanese spirit, and I'm like, yeah, dude. I'm like, <laughs> if you to I'm like, if you told me, hey, this is their- I, I want to be a fucking, like, Tengu, I'd be like, I can make it work, you just have to bear with me in, like, four days so I can figure out the fucking math to make a, a, a class, a playable class in DD Beyond, or playable race in DD Beyond. Oh my god, oh fuck me, okay. And the person that picked the moth guy is just like, Oh fuck, I could have just been a spider dude. And I'm like, yeah honey. He's like, fuck, I could have been a spider! Let me know where to apply and I can come up with something. <laughs> I well, would offer me... to play, but I know it would be disappointing. Oh, Tucker. Tucker, it would have been fine. Let me see, because I am, like I said, I am interviewing a dude who is, like, genuinely... But also, like, if you guys ever want to try to do, like, a one-shot thing, like, ask Rachel sometime. I would do a one-shot. Especially if you actually think that my weird sci-fi fantasy world isn't terrible. No, <laughs> I know I would... it's, it is there. I will say, because it is a combination of Rachel and I coming up with the world for ten years, there is some shit in there that is just... Like, well, we liked this one thing that we saw one time and just stole it. Oh, uh, that's most places. No, if it was a one-shot, I would probably just come up with something minute and small. Especially if it's people's first time doing D&D. Well, no, I think they've all done that. Like, fucking Tucker plays Rogue Trader. It's the Warhammer D&D. That's fair. That's fair. But... Yeah, I'm always down. I mean, yeah, his his rogue trader character is like in the in the 40k setting. There's like tech priest dudes, and his is just like yo, but like biology is also technology. What if I gave myself a snake mouth? See, I would love it if you were a player, but I would be nervous if you were one of my players because I know your vocabulary <laughs> <laughs> is large. And I, my vocabulary is not. Why would you be nervous if I was one of the players? Because it's like, I'd be trying to think of a word and then I, you would say it and I'd be like, oh yeah, I'm dumb. I wouldn't do that to you though. <laughs> yeah, like Missy Tucker, those are obviously like issues for this one. What? <laughs> Just like the, the times and the uh, other responsibilities. Yep. Well, normally, if someone can't make it to one of my campaigns, I'm like, fuck you, fine, see you next time, and then I play. But, like, they're currently at a thing where it's like, This man's all of you... grandfather is, like, dying, too. Yeah, but, so, like, I'm not mad, but it's like, all of you guys need to be present for this. So. Yeah, like, I, I haven't played D&D in, like, four years, five years. So it's like, if we ever did, like, a one-shot thing in the future, I'll, I'll do it. I'll be a part of it, just for something goofy. I mean, all you need is four players, minimum. So jokingly, I'm being shot in the Misty, ass! If we got Misty Tucker and you, I need one more, and it won't be Nick. <laughs> Probably not, no.
But yeah, I ask have like pasta. It would. Uh, here's the thing. My other thing would be like I'd say ask yeah. Shepherd, but he'd be sad. Why would he be sad? No, I just mean like Shepherd is a sad boy. <laughs> oh, I mean he might honestly enjoy the indie. Yeah. But like, like he's a sad. He has been really sad lately. I I have like ambiance music playing, and then I have a thing that I downloaded that allows like me to use sound effects. Oh my god. Fuck. Like, There's so many of them. I, oh my I have god. a thing I have a thing saved on my Amazon wish list that it's like it's a thing that plugs into my computer that gives me two additional screens. Oh that's cool. And I want it because it'll help me. Yeah, you're you're starting to oh. learn the 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 nature of my craft. Yeah, it's like I need at least one more because like work I have three. And so now when I come home, I'm like, fuck, this sucks, so... But the, there's the, here's the caveat, right? It's like $300. Okay. That's not that bad. That's not that bad, but it's like... You're I saying that this is a thing that lets you see additional screens. It, it, it plugs... It's a USB thingy, and it plugs into your computer. Or not USB. What's the other? HDMI? Hey, wow, hey. Haven't seen you around. How's um, it going? Who? Oh, just person that occasionally manifests oh. after a couple of years. <laughs> H is it HDMI? HDMI, yeah. Dude, you look but fucking rad. Holy shit, look at these guys. But it it plugs into the computer and then it like latches Oh my god. The, it, I'll just show you. But it yeah, latches please on, send me it. It latches onto the back of your computer screen and then there's two additional screens that go on the left and the right hand side okay, of the computer. Okay, I don't computer. like this. And it's like, I thought that would be a really nice thing for me to get myself at some point, if it wasn't $300. I'm trying to focus on one at a time. The problem is they're both focusing on me. Nope. Don't get me wrong, it looks a little goofy, but like, hey, for what it is. Been <laughs> hey, been only barely a year this time, doing good? I'm alright. Uh, like, I'm on, vac I'm on forced okay. vacation, basically. Both by Rachel and by my work, actually. Mm. Okay, that's one down. Let's fucking go. Oh god, ow. Dude, I love these guys' design. They look so cool. Okay, let's not do that. Okay, it's actually working out. Fucking, there we go, let's go. Oh, we're still shooting them because the input got put in. Oh boy. Dude, I love that this weird, just double shotgun explosive build is working out. I know double shotgun has always been busted. I didn't get it at first, but this particular set of legs and body is making it work. All right, let's see this thing. <laughs> That's goofy. That's cute. It's really goofy, but like the fact that it's literally just a like a HDMI plugs into the computer, and then you have two extra screens. Do you have? So it's actually. It looks like it's just USB that acts as HDMI, because um, it looks like it's just cloning your screen basically by extending it. Do you have enough USB ports for everything? Then? No, I'd have to get one of those thingies. Okay. But I have one of those saved on my Amazon wish list for like six bucks, and it gives you six additional ports. Yeah, if you want me to get that stuff for Christmas, I can. No. <laughs> That's a lot. How is that a lot compared to, like, you know, what other people spend on people for Christmas? I don't know. That is an option. You can get it for me if you want. It's Christmas. You're not supposed to tell me what you're getting me. That's all I ever do for Christmas stuff is ask people what they want. 
I kind of know for three hundred dollars as I spent three hundred on my own gift. <laughs> you surprised me the one time. Yeah, but that took like forever, and I was still asking you like things that you would want. Ooh, we missed a couple of things in some of these. Oh, we did get that one, though, which is nice. I gotta go back and, like, find the moment of me going, like, fucking mecha villain earlier and just clip that one. <laughs> That's such a cool call sign. Or not call sign, logo. We're really playing all the fronts here, huh? It seems so unfair that people even are made to pilot those things, and it's not just autonomous. They exist to get blown up. Will I? <laughs> The last time you told me that there was a stealth section, it was a lie. I have no verification if this will also be a lie. Oh, wow, yeah. No, it's not. Don't worry. No, it's not. Don't worry. Wow, they were not kidding. About having to destroy them, huh? Well, that's not good. Yeah, we are going to have to actually figure out a way to stealth it a little bit better, huh? Everything or nothing is a stealth section trust. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> wow, not even a restart from checkpoint. Just restart mission. Okay, well that didn't go well. They're every fucking where, huh? Which camera? Like, all of them? <laughs> this is the type of shit that I hate of a forced stealth segment. Like... And it's weird because it's a mecha game. Okay. Man, this is fucking weird. Also, we're really milking those environments by reusing them, huh? Whoa. Look over there. Oh, these 
flawless rupture. They never learn, do they? Who is that? That voice sounds so familiar. Oh my god. No, I'll attack you with your back turn, fucker. Deal with it. That attack is crazy. What is that? Oh god. Jesus, that's an attack and a half. Stun baton? That's pretty cool, actually. I thought that was going to be a lot lamer than that. Oh, are you cowarding out? No, I don't, actually. I'm here to kill you. Oh, fuck off that you got that shit out because my engine's cut out. I also saw the Not Safe for Work Metroidvania game that came out. If you have, uh... You legit had a choice, which is interesting. I don't care. I'm a robot. I'm here to kill you. New Game Plus is when we make different decisions. Oh yeah, fuck this bitch. <laughs> hey. Yeah, it is a cool thing that you can just stop the fight if you want to, then. Alright. Buy that. Buy that. Buy those. Those are still really cool. Honestly, the stun baton seems pretty neat. I don't know if I'd use it right now, but it seems cool. It's cheap. I'll grab it. Why not? I gotta make a weird tank again. I gotta make a fast tank. That seems like it'd be fun. There's still something in there that I missed. Whatever, I don't care that much. I just hate that it's notifying me. Infiltrate the 
tunnel, then find and destroy the sensor they're planning to repair. The objective is to distract the PCA and divert forces from their local base. Briefing over. Counting on you, Gun 13. Alrighty. You always have to go backwards just because you're crazy. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense they won't let me up there, but still. Oh, this is just a. This is a fucking Dark Souls level if there's ever been one. God damn it. God damn it. Oh my ears. I feel like I'm just descending into the depths. Going down into one of those Elden Ring holes, you know? Are we going to get more space drugs into our brain? I'm getting big, like, Coral is spice, but worse energy. Because it's also like a nuclear bomb for the universe. Can you not shoot me? Like, just a little bit. Man, they really hurt me. Holy shit. My god. Oh my god. They actually really hurt. Yo, fuck this place, maybe. I've been thinking of uh, playing Lies of P. I don't believe you. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, pull out where? I can't fucking see, dude. Yeah, my armor also can't take being shot, but you know. Nah, we good. Don't worry about it. Uh, please? Hey, so you ever played Metroid? <laughs> Which Metroid? Yes. Just all, all all of them. Any of them. This job's finished. Head back and rest, I hate people. 
Why? I was just reading a thing, an article about, like, women ranking the worst places to go for a first date. Oh, God, we're back on that. Yeah, and one of the girl, like, one of the things was like, oh, Olive Garden is horrible. I'm like, I fucks with Olive Garden. I, st I stand by my, I think the best first date is to just hang out. Like, um, well, it depends, because if you, like, if it's, like, you met, like, on Tinder, I don't want to go to your house. No, no, it doesn't need to be at a house. I just mean, like, just go hang out casually somewhere. Well, yeah, but you need to find a place to go do so, right? So, like, people... Like, so, I, I'm fine with Olive Garden. I fucks with Olive Garden. Unlimited fucking breadsticks? You're gonna see me turn into a dirty whore for some breadsticks and some Alfredo sauce. Okay? Go to the park and feed ducks with Halson. I... I added the Halson on there. <laughs> if, if, if... In a world where you and I aren't together. Yeah. Okay? If a man approached me, or a woman, actually, a woman any date's fine because it's with a woman. So, men, you, I'm sorry, men, it's Your standards it's in, are just much lower. <laughs> standards are in hell for men. Like, a woman could approach me and go, hey, you, me, let's go get our nails done. It's going to be a date. Be like, that's hot. Yeah, fine, whatever. But, like, a guy, it's like, you need to put in a little bit of effort because my experience with men has been awful. But, like, if a dude's like, hey, you, me, I'm gonna pack us a picnic lunch. Okay. Some fruit, little sandwiches, like sandwiches, you know, a little bit, little bit of sparkling juice. I'm gonna bring a bag of frozen peas and we're gonna feed some fucking ducks. Perfect. <laughs> Let's feed those fucking ducks. Like, why do women want to be taken to five star restaurants? Bitch, you're not five star wife material. Even if you were. <laughs> <laughs> you should be happy you're, doing something with a person because you want to be with them. You're not five-star girlfriend material, bitch. You work at Ulta Beauty. Fuck off. Also, like... Oh, shit, like, new mercenaries. Let's go. Do you know how many, like... like? Oh, boy. Lots of mercenaries. I, Let's go. I watch a lot of, like movie actors and whatever like interviews you know how many times you're just like oh yeah my partner and i went to a wendy's and it was amazing wait like like they're what the fuck's her name i forget she's a marvel actress and she was making a comment about how her and her husband recently like went to a wendy's for a date and they had frosties and fries yeah and people were like giving her shit. Like <laughs> you should be going somewhere fancy. If my no, if anything, that's like that's showing they're down to earth. If my husband took me to Wendy's, I'd be so frustrated. I'm not. I'm you've not you've had all. a long day. You're tired. You pull into a Wendy's. You have a nice fifteen to thirty minutes, and then you go home. Yeah, I'm fine. Like, like. When I come up and visit, we usually take one day to go to Pringles, but it's like that's a date date because we haven't been able. We we don't do we also don't do that every time. Yeah, and we also like don't always do date dates. Sometimes it's just like, hey, you want to just like play Elden Ring for two hours? Yeah. Or like. Oh my God, like, he's fast for a tank! What the fuck? Would like want to watch me play Stray and be really bad at it? Like. Cause like here's the thing, right? If you if you walked up and you told me like like let's say like we're paying for the house ourselves, we got bills to pay. Yeah. You walk up to me and you're like, we're gonna go to a five star restaurant. I'd be like, with what money? Holy fuck! I'm getting my shit pushed in by this guy. What is happening? With what five star? Why money? is he so fast? Like that's not happening but if you walked up to me and you're like listen i got vanilla ice cream some root beer and a bag of popcorn and we're gonna watch a shit like a shitty chinese action movie be like i'm, I'm not really here for the movie <laughs> oh my god but I'm, i fucking ruined but yeah i'm here for it let's go or even like hey i, I still got need that elden ring supercut of me fighting gravity hey guess what i was working on elden ring stuff uh for a long time and currently it's all trapped on hard drives that are not working because they're HDDs and they are they were they were making my computer not boot up. <laughs> so I gotta I gotta take them to a place and be like, hey, can you get all of my video files off of these and move them to an SSD? Like, do you know the amount of times we've just gone on a walk? Yeah. 
Or like we go to the mall and like we don't buy anything. It's like you'll get happy. We we just walk around like old people. Yeah. I'm like occasionally if I see something I really, really, really like, you're like, just get it. But like we don't go there with the purpose of buying things. We go there with the purpose of walking around looking at things and then going home after seeing the Joker. We did see a guy dressed like the Joker. So, like, he lives in my head rent-free, by the way. I think about him constantly. Or I'm like, what was that man? Where was he going? What was he doing? But well, he was I, going to the Hot Topic. Like, unironically. <laughs> I just don't get people who are so focused on my partner didn't get me the biggest, most expensive thing that makes me mad. Like, that chick who freaked out about being taken to the Cheesecake Factory? I would have been ecstatic! If you took me to the cheesecake, I'm like, you are going to pay for me. Oh, okay. Off. Here we have branching decision choices. I see, I see, I see. First off, first day should be 50-50, but after that, it should be like whoever asks the other person, the person who asks is the one who pays, in my opinion. But, but. I also think it just depends on who's making more money. But, no, because sometimes, like, if the person who makes less money wants to be nice and they yeah, get, Yeah, like, no, I, I just mean, like, if one person's making, like, you know, 200k in a year, like, yeah, fuck you, you're paying more. So, like, my thing is, right, if you were like, listen, babe, it's our second date. Cheesecake Factory? I'm like, you're gonna pay for me to slut it up with, like, six pieces of cheesecake? Yes. Yes. Oh my god, I can't believe this idea is working. Let's go! It just baffles me. It's the one thing, I have a lot of negative things to say about men. None of the men here in this chat, because everyone here in this chat's very nice. Most men are trash. At least in this chat you are. I can't speak for you in relationships. Like, everyone here is very, very sweet and good boys. Um, I don't think anybody here in this chat would be a toxic man in a relationship. Oh my god, fucking Jesus. Take the wheel. I also think I'm getting to the point where I'm drinking too much water. That can also happen, but it might just be that you're adjusting. Because my pee is clear. No, that's normal. Mine oh. is never clear, however. Which is also probably not good. But I also didn't eat today until I got home, and all I was doing was drinking water. So I'm, I'm sure that had something to do with it. Oh, he's gone. Turns out the strategy against the tank guy was to be a tank. Target destroyed. Get fooding evaluation. Clear P means well hydrated. There you go. I'm terrible in relationships, but that's because of aromanticism. And that's fair. fair. <laughs> yeah. You just have to find a person that matches that vibe. I mean, I'm also pretty bad in relationships. It's taken me literally 15 years of work. Yeah. And also having a, like, Disco Elysium-level traumatic breakup. I don't know if that was with your ex or with me. <laughs> uh, well, you did not leave in the middle of the day while I was out of the house and take all of your things and leave me with a letter. That's true, I did not. <laughs> you also no. did do, like, some fucked up shit, but it was like... That one... No, my... My fucked up shit was I was too scared of confrontation, and so I just silently stopped talking. Hi, Beans. And then I went to Disney World. <laughs> the, Dis the Disney one is the bad one. <laughs> because it was like, you went there and were like, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to message you at all for like a week, bye, and then just left. And then you would like get drunk with your dad and send me a message and be like, I love you, and then not respond back to me for 48 hours. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, like, all over my summer, well well out of college, like, depressed. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We were both pretty bad when we were younger. Because, like, Who's messaging me? I've got a prospective boyfriend, but also not a boyfriend, but I do know he's at least by. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I don't know why that was just, the way it's worded is really funny to me. Because you... Yo, that fucking will, thing looks so cool, what? I will say this very nicely, you were just a toxic man. 
I still am. It's just very hard to suppress it. You were just a very toxic human being. Again, it's still in there. That didn't go yeah, away. Dude, that thing's so, that though. thing's head looks so fucking sick. Look at this robot. You're less toxic than you were. Oh no, it, again, it's still in there. It's just me making a conscious effort to not be as much as possible. Let's see if the tank works well on this guy or if we get fucked. We also haven't had like an argument. In a while. In like a while. We've had disagreements. Oh god! Which is like, it could be good or bad, depending on how you look at it, but I choose to take it as a positive. It's the second thought that counts. <laughs> I mean, hey, we're not doing numbers that are huge, but this guy is getting hurt. Oh wow, that almost stunned him. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. That's unfortunate for you, sir. Ooh, okay, now he's hurting me. Rachel won't let me buy her a Crimbo Prezi? Yeah. I don't like the way that you worded that, firstly. <laughs> I'm assuming you can't buy me a Crimbo Prezi. See, the beautiful thing about Steam is that you can't actually stop him. But, I mean, you can just not accept it, I guess. <laughs> but then he's wasted money, then I feel bad. Dude, I love that thing's head. Please give me that armor. Oh, I wish these headaches would go away. I mean, that's fair, honestly. Headaches I suck. Mean, they're, they're hell. Oh, we're fighting Sulla again? Okay. See if the tank does it. Probably gonna lose really bad on this one. Combat aptitude evaluation program number 15. C. Network instability detected. Sub AC in Hinkle. Call sign Sula. Why is it glitching out? Oh my god. I can't believe that, like, just knocking into them does so much stun when you're the tank. Like, that's gonna be what got us the win because of the increased damage afterwards. That's crazy. Dude, tank is just fucking shit up. Heading out for the night? Well Back in less than a year, I promise? Yeah, yeah, whatever, man. Go out for smokes, you know? <laughs> by, per by person, I don't know. You want to know what the really craziest part of uh, the fucking panda is? Mm. Uh, they showed up a long time ago in the streams. Like, a long, long time ago now. Uh, mm. And then stopped showing up. Which is fair. Now I have to be back. <laughs> FDL days. Don't worry about it. Um, but like the they they appeared one day, were gone the next, and then one day saw me in like an Overwatch game, and joined the Discord. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Nick and uh, Snap still play, like, Overwatch 2, and I just, like, 
I don't know. I just I, I can't get myself ever back into it. That's fair. What is this? What am I going to be fighting? Hey, can anybody do research for me and tell me if, uh, if, uh, Pinocchio Souls is, like, co-op or not? Or is that just one player? God, look at this fucking thing. What is this? Turn shortly, go ahead. How dare you lose all of that stun that I just did on you? Holy shit. Okay, well now I gotta start playing a bit more serious here. Because <laughs> it's like my slow-ass tank against this faster tank. Oh, that's it. That's what I'm talking about. Fucking stagger them. Oh, God! Okay, well, that didn't work out as intended, but it's fine. You should still lose. Yeah, there we go. Single player only? Okay. I'll play Lies of P at some point then. I was just curious because if uh, fucking Twink Souls was going to be a co-op game, I'd tell Rachel to play with me. Yeah, okay. But it's not apparently. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll put another four points into kinetic weapons. They've been doing work for me. They've been they've been good. Let's see if the tank can beat middle flatwell. <laughs> Lords of the Fallen 2023 also exists. Rachel asked me if it was good. Uh, I said that it seems to be of mixed opinion, but mostly red is pretty good. But like. It's also just expensive, still. <laughs> yeah, and honestly, if it's a Souls game, my brother just play Elden Ring. Yeah. Rachel is, Rachel is like, in our private time, we will put in hours and hours of Elden Ring. Oh my god, look at that guy getting fucking ruined here. What is happening? I love Elden Ring. I'm surprised how much Rachel loves it, honestly. Game. It, again, it makes me happy though because it is like a good date night thing where we're just like, we want to spend some time together. We'll make a new set of characters. We'll go do the setup for whatever build we want to do. 85% of the time, that's setting up the exact same build for Rachel to do again. <laughs> mm hmm. Rachel just loves to use the fucking Blasphemous Blade. That's such a good sword. Yeah, let, la, uh, blah, 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 blah. Liza P is on Game Pass. 
I'd probably just Game Pass it, but Game Pass games can be really fucky wucky. At some point, I gotta play Rat Game too. Rat Pope sequel? Yeah, I've been I've been really wanting to play it, but I just like it's always kind of expensive and they took it off Game Pass at one point. Okay. Let's pop that there. Let's change name. Tank two. Oh, wow, that goes up there over the other one? Really? Okay. I mean, I guess they are alphabetical or whatever. I'm going to put a pause on this for now. And I'm going to go utilize the restroom. A little bit early. Cookie. Speaking of game, <laughs> sorta. I pirate stuff a lot, but also I usually, as a demo, I always end up buying the game. That's how Nick used to do it. But yeah, I'll be right back.
try out Viridi on Steam. It's a small game about growing plants in a garden. Viridi in my mind is just the fucking what do you call it? Thing from Kid Icarus. Medusa? No, isn't Viridi like a goddess in that game? They're like a... Like a sundry blonde... Not lowly, but like... They're small. <laughs> That's gotta be like one of the most annoying things about just... Like, the anime community. Like... Just ruining the idea of short characters and making it so it's like, oh, they're a lowly. And I'm like, short people exist. People that look young exist. But they're a lowly. That said, I have seen artwork where people have made <laughs> Lollafells have boobs, and I do think it is an improvement. Just makes it a little bit less controversial for people. Even though they're just potatoes. Okay. We gotta make a quick little tank boy. Stupid little legs. Let's go. Okay. I have no idea what to do with this build. Because I have no idea what the speedy little tank legs are good at. <laughs> Inspired by wheelchairs made for competitive sports, this product was an instant success with soldiers who had lost the use of their legs in combat, but still pined for the battlefield. Weird. They should have given the potatoes proportions so it doesn't make it seem like Mr. Head of Gearbox. Oh god, that's, that's one of the funniest stories of all time, because like, whether or not he actually is like a sex offender... It is still just so funny that he just lost, like, a USB at a fucking medieval times or some shit. And it was just full of, like, awkward, weird, creepy shit on it. What? I'm sorry? What was on it? It was nothing, like, offensive. But it was still just, like, a lot of photos of people and, like, their kids. And it was like, why was he just carrying this around on a fucking USB drive? Alright, so, hold on. I need, I need thoughts from the AC community here. Am I right in understanding that even though these are tank treads, it is a lightweight frame? Oh, oh baby. baby! Don't believe his lies. Lies of P. Fair enough. Um... <laughs> These are lightweight, so you should be equipping fast parts to make you go fast. Like Sonic X. They're great for drifting circles around people. I guess what I mean is like... Is it better to go lighter armor and speed demon it, or is it still good to just tank up? Essentially, I'm asking for some, like, mild part recommendations. That looks, like, not bad, honestly. Mix of both, but full speed is also good. Okay. 
You know how happy I am I don't have to work a full week? I imagine pretty happy, right? So happy. Speed is really fun. It's I've been enjoying it. I'm just like, what do I, what do I throw on a boy that is like this? Parts with good firearm spec is good. Okay. Cause that's like mostly what I've been using on stuff anyway. <laughs> he looks like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> and not one of the not one of the code Geass ones either. Oh, you know, maybe that would be a good idea. Impact is really good for stagger. I mean, I figured as much. I'm just thinking. Don't hurt. I mean, I'm offended. That was the point. <laughs> Can I just remove the pattern? Yeah. <laughs> I'm still thinking myself mostly about that one-shot D&D. We should totally set something up for that sometime. Yeah, we could figure out something one day. I'm in no hurry. Rachel's got her own problems. I mean, that's toot my own horn. I am a pretty good DM. <laughs> That is the one thing I'll carry with me till I die. Not to toot my own horn, but to toot my own horn. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're just gonna run with this color scheme for now. We'll come up with something better if it actually is good. We'll refine this idea, because I want... I want fast little leg tank. Me. <laughs> kind of. You got fast little legs. Let's just run it as a test. Uh, I don't know what to test it against. Maybe we'll just actually load it up into a mission and see. 
but it feels like it could go real bad. Like I know there's the testing area, but I don't, I don't, I just don't think it applies like as good of a test as actually just running it through an area. I mean, what's the worst that happens if you run it through an area and the mission fails? Do you have to do the mission over again? Oh, no. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes that's just really annoying. Sometimes I think I'm a piece of shit, though. Uh... Oh, boy. Yeah, that's fucking fast, isn't it? I mean, every thinks they're a piece of shit sometimes. Unless you're a narcissist. Hi. Yeah, but you're a weird narcissist where you also think you're awful. A lot of them do. Narcissism largely is a symptom of uh, having greater uh, interpersonal issues and self-confidence problems where you're compensating. It's like more projection. I feel like I, I feel like I want more shooty than shotgun with this. Is that a giant bug on my wall? Oh no. What the fuck is that thing? Sent you a code for that Noid decal? I will put it on for something goofy when I play online for sure. I'm not gonna lie, all my all my ACs that I use in game have been like dead serious. House centipede? I don't think that uh, Rachel has any of those. Two repair kits remaining. One repair kit remaining. No, it's just a fuck big spider. I mean, it might be the one that I'm just allowing to live in my room. Now it's just gotten big. Yeah. Good. Eat things. If you live in the corner of the room and you don't bother me, dude. <sighs> okay, I like these wheels a lot, but I'm not sure how I like the dual shotgun mechanic on them. I do think I like the sword, though. Give me some suggestions for alternate uh, weapons. And maybe maybe some more armor on this. I might go back in and armor him up a little. Because these things do just haul fucking ass. Like, let's see these grenade launcher. Maybe I do. I do like grenade launchers a lot. I do like the grenade launchers a lot. How do these fire? Vertical plasma instead. Oh, I kind of like these actually. Oh, they have they have some good impact build. Vert plasma hits more often. Maybe. Yeah, those are those are pretty decent. Yeah, look at that. Maybe give me some good shoulders instead of the melee actually.
Ooh. Yeah, let's let's go in here. Okay, I'm digging it. I have to take it off. Sleep calls and her siren song is hauntingly endearing. Lies. Fucking slander. Imagine needing to sleep. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go to sleep. Take a rest. It's good for you. People need to sleep. The ultimate harassment mech? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay. Have a good night, Misty. I kind of do love this head, actually. It's not much more in the way of armor, but it's like something, you know? And it doesn't really feel much slower in any way. Yeah, this just feels mean. Like, I'm sure it's not actually that good. It's just good in this unique circumstance. But it seems fun, you know? And that's really what I kind of just based this on. Is can I make a fun one? Alright. We just gotta give it a cool scheme. You know? Something fun. Alright. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> Get that stupid Noid <laughs> thing for later. I'll do that later, though. Uh... What does this look like? Maybe because we're going super fast and everything, we do like an outrun color scheme. That could be fun. I 
Okay. Let's think here. Do we want matte or do we want shiny? Shiny is always nice, but it doesn't always look good. And do we want to go with like a deeper color or a brighter color as the base? That's part of the question, right? I'm back, sorry. Welcome back. I'm in the process of figuring out something goofy. Ooh, that was some static. Yeah, um, Beans accidentally unplugged my headset. <laughs> so why apologize? I I'm apologize. I'm read a little before I go to bed. Read my smut book! <laughs> what? That's what it is. I guess. It's not, like, exclusively. No, uh, but it's, you know, there. <laughs> With it getting colder, I have to start waking up earlier. Yeah? Yeah, I do the thing today where uh, I just keep throwing the window washer fluid on my car's window shield to get the ice off. Oh. There was a thick layer in my fucking um car scraper couldn't get through it all. Sheesh. I wish I could make this more neon. It does lead me to going towards a darker coloration more than likely. I want to do something just wacky and stupid for this one. But I really... Like, I, I'm so bad at it. I can't do ugly schemes. I just want to go, like, cool. That's my problem. Is I just, I just kind of want it to just look cool. So I might end up just sticking to that. Actually, hold on. I have an idea. We're going to lean in on two memes here. That's where we're going to go. We'll do that just to kind of set it back to a neutral. Okay. How do our reds look? That's about right. That's about right. That will work for what I need. Maybe, maybe a shade darker. Subsection being gray works just fine. Support sections being kind of bluey, whatever. This is all, like, superfluous. It's whatever. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, device. I mean, it's kind of yellowy. You don't really ever see it in the thing, so it doesn't really matter. We can kind of just go with whatever on that. I might go with orange, just because I like the orange, actually. What color was it? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Go red because...
fast as hell, so Char, but also go red and this kind of color scheme because the fucking Bebop spaceship. Why not? Let's go. See if how see how terrible it is when we actually take it out. We're not gonna do a decision mission right now. We'll just do these ones. Cause I don't know which one I would rather do. Survey the uninhabited floating city. Defend the main missile of the rad missile battery until launch sequence completes. I don't know how fast would be good for these. But we'll take it. This is a personal request from a friend. We're seeing how well it works. Personally recommend destroying the special forces craft for choice, really. It's likely hiding secrets about the coral, kept shrouded by the city's ECM fog. My friends already tried sending in a survey drone, only to lose it in the interference. That's where you come in. I want you to disable the ECM fog generators so that we can resume. Occupied with the PCA. We can be the first ones to identify where the coral is converging. All right, let's go. Have fun here? Oh no. Is this the poison swamp level? Main system activating combat mode. It's a nice hidden item here. I will almost certainly miss it. Okay, these things are fun to use, yeah. Mm, don't like that. It'll help improve your red look. What? I'm assuming it's like boosters maybe that would make it red? <laughs> trust me. <laughs> Source, just trust me, bro. Okay. I understand. Are they just going to spawn forever? Use scan, you can find it. Well, okay.
Thanks. Uh why why did you get stuck uh It's also a pie? Would have been good to know that before I came in a tank. It is kind of hilarious how this thing functions so well. This is pretty much like what you could use to make a gun tank, huh? The other one's a bit too heavy. I'm not sure how I like the steering controls of it, but I do appreciate the speed and the ability to just get the fuck out of situations. What if Bandai wanted to make Gun Tank actually look cool? Listen, it's not their fault that it was designed in the 1970s, okay? It's more surprising that they haven't done more with the design. Like, you see a lot of other designs reutilized and kind of, like, thrown into other Gundam. Like, Zaku get thrown into everything in some capacity, right? They're everywhere. Or, or like, gyms. Like, a, a rip-off of the gym will show up somewhere. That's the thing, they could have redone it, yeah. It's like, you could, you could have been, like, Iron-Blooded Orphans had, like, a guy with an edgy tank. Jims and Zaku are already cool. Well, the Zaku, I think, is cool because it's just a Nazi. <laughs> as bad as that sounds. It's like, the Zaku is designed to be your World War II army soldier, right? He's got the fucking weird helm. They've got the mono eye. They've got the standard, like, camo across everything. And then they decided, well, fuck it, just give them an axe. It's like, they are your villain that needs to look cool. World War soldiers were known for their mono eyes more than you think. I'm joking, of course, but, like, they're designed to be an iconic villain. They're the Nazi uniform of the Gundam world. Whereas Gun Tank was made to sell you a toy. A hundred percent. Like, Zaku was too, but it's... It's memorable. Gun Tank is like, we needed things to be on this. We need roster. Whoa, okay, hi. Hi, buddy. Do you want to talk? The city rules? It really does. Jesus, look at that! That fucking impact, my god. Oh. Well, okay. Well, I'm not allowed to have fun. I think the part is close to here, probably. Whoa, okay, hi.
Okay, bye. Cooler later. I mean, it's like a pretty good mecha city, honestly. Dude, fuck off. You want to talk about harassment mechs? See you, dude. Ow, ooh. Oof. Wow, can you, like, fuck off, maybe? Jesus Christ. Man, I sure wish I could just fly like that. That'd be sick. Not ideal, honestly. This is what I get for exploring fucking Tokyo, too. Man's writings, symbiosis, she seemed to be contemplating the meaning of the word. The moment of happiness we share comes at the cost of her siblings, sacrifices all. Is this symbiosis? Surely not. Xylem remains fully operational. The Planetary Closure Administration did their best to hide this place, but I'll find a way there soon enough. The only one who knows the PCA and... Wait. Yeah, no shit. Hey, dudes. Guess what? I'm fast. Fast as fuck, boy. One. Hate when that happens. Oh, there's more of you, huh? Okay, the harassment mech actually does its job. It's really funny. Cool, could I identify where the last of the, uh, you know, hidden items are? Because that'd be really nice.
Am I being flirted with by a hallucination caused by fucking huffing magic fumes? Like... No, it's not a building. Yeah, that's like, I mean, there's so many of those. <laughs> I can always grab it after. It's near the first generator? Of course it is. Where I spent a million years looking. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure I do. Oh, we're doing this, huh? That might be more of a problem, honestly. Oh, that's the plan. Currently, the need to hide is stronger. Yeah, I'd love to co-opt, but connecting is hard. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm so fucking dying. Okay. That's annoying. One. Get down. Fucking right. Damn right. Oh, fuck off. One thing I hate about the tank. Get out of here. Holy fuck, okay. One time I don't bring explosives, huh? Jesus, really? You didn't die? Christ, okay. Right 
Oh fuck, okay. All right, that's it. Basically out of ammo, that sucks. Plus my ammo, yep. Listen, if we gotta kick it to death, we will. Again, the one time I didn't bring explosives. Oof, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go, like go do a good old restart on this. This uh this this thing is good, but it's not built for this kind of boss, you know? Like when I was told it's like a stealth area, go in, deactivate these things, etc. Yeah, that made sense. Uh but that particular type of boss, no. But you can't know these things going in, right? So Let's do something stupid. Oh, how stupid do we go, actually, is the real question. Even harder to fucking control. <laughs> Do you read me? Do you read me? You've got PCA incoming. May not be ideal to shoot the thing in the air, don't worry about it. It's for the goof, don't worry. It's more the, the, the little dudes that are gonna be the problem. But also, they were the problem the first time. Dude, it's kind of fucked that they can go outside the boss area and, like, I can't. <laughs> you know? You shouldn't be able to leave. Wow, you're actually pretty tough. I'm gonna be honest, I thought they'd do more impact damage against it, because it's... It was getting impacted really heavily against the little guns, and I thought that they would do better. The 
The real answer is I probably just need to be fast as fuck, boy. Uh, well, they're not bad, actually, once you get close. See? Okay, that hurts. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah? Oh, I just forgot how fucking dirty the last book was. <laughs> I am low on ammo. That was bad timing. And those flares are really effective. Okay, well, it was working really well for a second, and then it just stopped working. Like, what... what happened here? Like, the plan was going according, and now it's just like, no. Man, this thing just eats your ammo, huh? That's all it is, is it just eats your ammo. So the answer is I'm coming back here with Black Sabbath, as per usual. Okay, yeah. Let's do this the usual way. The problem was doing anything other than the normal builds. <laughs> that's... I think that's the really offensive part to me, is like... Anything other than this guy, this guy, or this guy seem to just not work <laughs> for for real serious runs. We, we, we've learned the lesson, which is you don't try new things until the game brute forces you to. Just like in real life, you do the same thing every day until the world tells you no, and then you do something else. And then you continue to do that forever until it also tells you no. That's one. Dude, you can't leave the fucking arena. It's cheating. Like, look at this shit. Like, imagine if Dark Souls bosses just left and then stayed there. Like, imagine if the fucking, uh, Nameless King's boss fight was he just left the boundary of the map and then sat there for a minute. Oh, shut up. Alright. 
Give him a minute. Yeah, so the answer is to just continue to use Black Sabbath or a fucking melee weapon. Looks like you did it. Still, little harassing tank was fun. The only change I might do is what uh, Tucker recommended on the no one shoulder weapon. weapon. There we go. Okay, missile launch supports. Still being called names, my god. VCA show of force has finally started to affect my own business. Those spineless coyotes jumped at the chance to become their lackeys. Now they're feeling ambitious and sniffing around RAD territory again. I can't believe that they just used droidkas. And say this calls for fireworks. Those look just that, like droidkas. Okay, so am I going to them, or are they coming to me? Additional rewards for defending sub-missiles. Ugh. Oh, so they're just snorting coral, huh? Great. Okay. We're all set, Chief. Commencing missile launch sequence. Oh yeah, you haven't met. Chatty's our systems admin. Doesn't talk much, but he knows his stuff. 
anyway. No time for pleasantries. We've got five minutes. Never thought they'd end up palling around with the PCA. Smart, but not for long. Here comes the second wave. Keep the fireworks safe. They're coming from the front left side. It just sent to Raven. Okay. I am so glad that that works. That just makes life so much easier and more fun. Okay, being fast is a good idea here. They're coming from the bridge. Look at all those coyotes. Oh, they sure are, huh? Man, this person's crazy. I kind of get it. I dig it. They're not entirely wrong. They're not doing much better. Oh, wow. Look at all of you guys. You're just all stuck under there, huh? They, they literally snuck by me by being too stupid to get around it. Yeah, I noticed that. Wow, you guys are really focusing that one down, huh? The fuck's going on here? Hey boys, how's it going? Little, little uh, embarrassing that that didn't work. Oh, fuck off. Absolutely fuck right off. And this, yeah, no, I understand. The the shotgun build when you do kinetic damage buff is insane.
<laughs> well, okay, the warships aren't nearly as big of a threat anymore as I had anticipated them to be. Big boom, more or less. Chatty stick, RAD. Thanks for helping with the fireworks show. The chief loved working with you, so don't be a stranger. That's all I had to say. Later. Okay. 200. Hmm. Alright, so now is when we have the decision to make, huh? To either eliminate enforcement squads or destroy special forces craft. Cataphracts. What was the... You are saying craft? This is decision. <laughs> I wish it had, like, any inclination as to what it really changes at all. Cataphract is the one you like more. Fair enough. But we also know that you like to be a big punch boy. And my preferences are to speed around like somebody on intoxicants. <laughs> if that has any alterations as to the effects. Cataphract is fun to fight. Okay. So it's more like it's a different type of, like, fight. It's more fun. Okay. How many times do you have to run this New Game Plus to get everything? <laughs> Found Cataphract easier for what it's worth than the squad? Okay. We'll do Cataphract, sure. Easier and also more fun sounds like a good one to do for, like, the new game. You know? I started trying to fight the squad, then switched to craft. Interesting. The PCA has deployed the Cataphract, a special forces weapon specialized for ground combat. If we allow the corporations to seize this kind of technology, things will take a dire turn. What the fuck? Why does it have legs when it's that big? But why does it have mech legs? <laughs> oh, it, yeah, it, because it has a core. Why not? Sure. This seems like such a poorly designed weapon. Like, that just screams so many problems and limitations. Oh boy, oh boy, hit Hall's ass, huh? Oh my god. Oh, the fucking rear is protected, huh? 
Okay, I see how it is. Holy shit, dude. Doing circles around me. Oh my god, I'm getting hurt. What did I do that stunned it before, that now it's just kicking my ass sword? What happened? I, j I don't know, like, I just j genuinely do not get it. <laughs> well, I'm doing that now. Gotta face fuck it? I mean, if anything, that's time for me to get, like, a sword out again. Okay, ow. Stop being able to leave the map! I'm so tired of this. Oh, he didn't leave the map, he just kind of glitched around it a little bit and pushed me out into the red. Oh my god. It can happen to you. Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god! Could you calm down for fucking, like, a half second, buddy? Yeah, that's fair. Definitely feels like I would prefer to have a sword here on this guy for when you get him down, but... I don't know if I'm gonna swap out on that. Maybe. That was good, we almost got him. First try. Let's hot swap this, because it's not really doing anything for us at the moment. There is just so much smut in this last book, I forgot. It's literally... Like, seven full chapters of just smut. At that point, I'd be bored. Nah, it's pretty great. No, I'd be because bored. Because it's not, like, full... Because here's the thing, it's not full smut. It's, like, the first chapter of, like, the smut happening. It's, like, them being nervous and, like, just touching. And then it's, like, a gradual thing. So when you get to the last one, you're like, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck me. Oh, my God! It's Especially just... because it's my favorite trope of the woman is a total oh, bitch. you fucking asshole. Losing all of your stuns, sorry. You're fine. The woman's a total- Because the last book focuses on, like, the main- Like, all of the side characters, basically. Um. And... Holy shit, why is he doing a completely different strategy than the last time? Nesta is a total fucking bitch. But you end up liking her. Like, I hate I hated her until I started reading the last book. And then I'm like, alright, she's not that bad. I get it. She's like the older sister. She has to be the one that's like... Heads on straight. Blah, 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 blah. But like... The dude that has a thing over her... Stop doing circles global. around me, you bitch! Why it's is it worse? Global. It's basically Shin and Zo. Is the best way I can describe it. Fuck! Sorry. You're fine. Or like Leo and Bai. Or like the dude is kind of a dorky womanizer, but like sh the woman is like a bitch. How did we do worse? Maybe this is the guy we switched to the other guns for? Because it's not like we need long range on this, right? Like we just gotta get in there and just do damage?
Jesus fucking Christ, why are you just stun locking me to shit all of a sudden? Fuck off, dude. Yeah, no. This fucking sucks, dude. Okay. We did it great the first time, then we have the idea of how to fight it, and the understanding has actually somehow made me worse. <laughs> like, the confidence of knowing has made me fight more poorly as a result. Which is an extremely weird sentiment. I don't think I've ever known somebody's capabilities and fought worse against them as a result of it. You ass, come here. How is this not better? <laughs> the frustration is so ever present and real. There we go. That's more what I'm talking about. Don't like that. There we go. I hate when he does that little speedy bullshit. Fuck off. Oh my god, just clipping me does so much damage. Turn around so I can blast your machine face in. I'm gonna end you when I get in there. Fuck, I'm gonna get wiped again. I am so mad. Stop hugging the corner, dude. Yep, I'm dead. Man, that's really frustrating, because that one was actually pretty good at the end. I don't usually get upset about stuff genuinely, but that one actually kind of upsets me. Just because it's like, again, the first fight going well, and then everything else being bad afterwards just is just annoying. Main system, activating combat mode. Mostly because he just, he turns around. It's, it's weird that it's so fast, I guess. All right. Come here. Let me see your face, asshole. Worth it. Fine, it's working out. I'm trying to focus on the battle, but he won't focus on the battle. There we go. That's what I'm looking for.
That's what I'm wanting. Perfect. Now we got him. Yeah, bringing the sword was the right idea. about it we're here to turn people into scrap Uncle Flatwell. With your help, maybe we can beat the corporations and the PCA. No, we need to stand on our own two feet. That's how we'll win. You know what? Let's throw a couple more chips in. Why not? I haven't been using energy weapons that much, but I'll put it in there just in case. I might actually switch it over to melee or something else. And we'll just get more HP, because why not? Attack the old spaceport. Okay. I just got so scared for a second thinking that I had a virus on my computer. Why? So occasionally I get a little pop up from like the the malware bites. Yeah. Did it go red? No. A little pop up showed up saying 
It said Big Black Friday Cyber Monday saving. Yeah. My brain, due to the current state that it's in, thought it said Big Black Penis. In insert lewd thing. And I'm like, oh my god, I have a virus on my computer. I love that your immediate thought is like, it must be a virus. <laughs> because I literally have nothing opened other than Discord. Yeah, that's pretty funny. And so I was like, it can't be a pop-up. Like from like a fucking, like a, like a fucking website. <laughs> This is me, everybody. Also, I'm probably going to mute myself because I probably will go to bed, but I don't like not yeah. hearing or and or seeing you. So, I understand. I'm probably going to be done after this one anyway. Okay. Well, if you end a get Hi, Bean! You can video me, whatever. Yeah, of course. Oh, Bean, you're on the wrong side! <laughs> Whoa, okay, hi. There you go, girly! <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Just the way that you sounded there, just... <laughs> Mr. Bean. You sounded towards beans the way that you hate when Shepard and I make noises. <laughs> I don't know, guys. These guns still seem like kind of fucking, like a little bit too strong, maybe. My God, she's laying down. We got a snuggle bug. gonna have to get a bigger bed so beans can go oh actually you'll be working late so it doesn't matter well also the intent is to get a bigger bed anyway yeah so beans can lay well also for when we are in it hey, but beans because <laughs> then i can say that i sleep in a big bed with my wife beans well not them i would hope that my wife isn't named beans i'd just be thinking of fucking even stevens all the time no, but it's like I sleep in a bed with my wife and beans. Oh, well, yeah, fair enough. Oh, she's got a mushy face. She's sleepy. Good girl. Oh, I missed my kick. That would have been cool. Oh, wow, they're just all side by side, huh? That one blew that one up on its own? What the fuck? Now we good, don't worry about it. Well, wow, that one does just destroy it, huh? Jesus. I mean, evidently, this is not that much of a problem. Ooh, hi. I'll go get that. That's free. Resupply while I can, huh? Whoa, hey there. Woo. Okay, so much for that.
<laughs> Alright, we have this. This is non issue. Oh, fucking missed. How lame. Oh, I'm not surrendering at all. I think I'm worried about your ships. Should be worried about them. That was nice and easy. They needed authorization for that? You shouldn't have built your spaceship bridges super exposed, huh, dumbasses? This is like a constant theme, though. Like, in Gundam, they're always extremely exposed. They really should be inside the ship, nice and safe. That looks fucking rad, though. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Duo fight? Let's go, man. Rusty, Rusty. And also just them looking cool as hell to come and fight you. Oh, fuck me. Ow. Holy shit, getting rocked. My god. Rusty, I'm doing my best here, buddy. Alright, that's one. This is a fucking Code Geass fight now. Or like a Gundam Seed battle. Look at this shit. To send you to the dumpster. The coolest looking dudes we've ever fought. Just one was so much better than the other, and the other one just got completely thrashed. IA02, excuse moi. Oh shit, yeah. Are we gonna get sandwormed? Yeah, we are. Look at that shit, that's so cool. Hey Rusty, do you have any ideas? Oh my god. It sure fucking is. It's going.
Okay. Well, I shot at it, so, you know. Oh, okay. Or that. The what? Looks like the PCA has helped itself to the Institute's relics. Six two one, rest up at base. I'll come up with a plan to deal with our new friend. Hey, um, I just want to say, with all the shit exploding and becoming horrible sky, um, I feel like I might be headed towards. An instrumentality situation. <laughs> it feels like we're going the Flame of Chaos route. Just a little. Here's the situation, 621. After the PCA sink that Institute weapon on us, Archibus and Balaam have moved to cooperate. IA-02. Deterrent created to protect the coral. <laughs> what? If we don't take it out, no one's going to reach the convergence. We'll have a tough fight ahead of us. Everyone's getting involved. I swear to God, if the coral stuff ends up being like the Corallians in Eureka 7, I'm going to go to the offices of From Software. And start shaking them by the shoulders, screaming, Another century episode! Another century episode! <laughs> I don't know, I think my technique is the same as Nick's. Be fast, shoot ass. Hey, I have a question. Do energy weapons also count to your shoulder weapons that are like plas, or just for beam? Like laser. Because if so, I might dump that, and then just start putting all my points into like direct hit modifier and kinetic. Yes, plasma is energy. Thumbs up. I'll keep doing it then, because I like that one shoulder a lot. O'Keefe, let's go. Arena combat aptitude evaluation. Program. You have a hideous coloration. Entering rank B. 
Oh man, I love that head though. That looks sick. Why do they all have such cool heads? Also, the fucking symbol is so sick. How about you get down on my level, huh? Oh, I see. Well, nobody said you have to play fair. All right, that felt pretty good. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. Oh, we get to fight Carla's uh, AI? Cool. Let's do it. Let's go beat up the supposed Jilf. <laughs> oh my god. What the fuck? Wait, what? Did they just hack me? Holy shit. I'll show you a full course, all right. My god. Oh my god. Carla is the missile milf. Jesus Christ. Alright. I'll keep that one in mind for the future. It appears the data contained an unauthorized message. We apologize. Terminating evaluation. No, that was cool. The fact that she hacked in was rad. Good fight. Cool loadout. Cold call. You can smell a real killer right through their AC. See, that's such a rad looking symbol. I gotta like, I gotta like find a person who's good at doing the, the AC emblem thing and just ask them to make me one and pay them like 10 bucks or something. What is that weapon? Subject AC. Dead sled. Call sign. Cold call. Commencing evaluation. These all look so rad. Like,
Like, don't get me wrong, I think mine looks cool too, but... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> That was a close one. That went well. Damn. Smell a killer right through their AC, huh? Concluding evaluation. Well done. That's also a laser punch dagger. Yeah, it was like, why does he have like a fucking Indian knife as a <laughs> as a weapon? But it looked rad. Throw that on there for when they do get stunned, and then next one we'll do another kinetic upgrade. Hey, Rusty, let's go. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number nine, rank B. Subject AC. Steel Haze. Call sign B4 Rusty. Main system. Activating combat mode. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, fuck. That's why I keep the rocket around. Target destroyed. Including evaluation. Well done. OS tuning. Kinetic. Max out. We'll do the last arena thing and then we'll be done for the night. At least for now. <laughs> you look fucking sick. And like the most crazy- Look at that fucking emblem! Oh my god! If that wasn't used by another guy in-game, I would use that. That's crazy. Oh my god. Man's a psycho. It sure looks like it. Holy shit. I love it. I've barely hurt them at all. They're toasting me.
Oh my god, it worked. The kick! The kick got him! Look at that! <laughs> That's how you win a Gundam fight. You come in and you kick the other man's cockpit in. Incredible. <laughs> the I did not expect the flamethrower to be a thing that is, uh, you know, going to be a fight that I'm going to deal with, but apparently it is. I mean, I know that the flying guy had one, but that doesn't count. You have surpassed rank B. It is a great honor to witness your evolution as a mercenary. All Mind exists for all mercenaries. Okay, we've almost bought everything out of the shop again, so that's pretty sick. We'll go into OS tuning. We've maxed out kinetic. We can't max out direct hit until we get a few more chips. Spring chicken or great legs, really? So we'll hold out for now. What am I... Oh, right. There we go. I want even heavier reverse leg joints, but the spring chicken are still good. Well, I'll keep them in mind for a future build. Uh, but for now, I'm going to end the stream. That was a good four hours. We made some decent progress, and we'll come back to this another day when I have cleaned out uh, some of those... Uh, replays and gotten the logs and the various assorted things from those. And maybe we'll build some more wacky things that are not a speed tank that then has to fight a helicopter. <laughs> Have a good night, folks.